Hello YouTube dwellers and my fellow gamers, Plushy here and welcome to another episode of Plushy Playtime. Today we will continue on to our part 4 of this game, a story about my uncle. As we venture out into awesome looking village and we will see what's in store for us. It was a relief to finally feel the sun on my face and a gentle breeze in my hair. After all these caves, just breathing fresh air again was enough to clear my mind of any doubts I might have had about this strange journey so far. This might be the logical thing to do. Go there. Oh yes, okay. Oh. Just use normal jumps. I should do it. Ow, ow, ow. I was stuck. I'm not I'm not going to take any chances here anymore. Ow. Oh, this is so much fun. Oh yeah! Hello! Oh my goodness, this is... Such an amazing view! I'm liking this village so much! So much that I just want to <laughs> go and drop myself to death uh. I don't know if I can do this. No! <laughs> I knew it. Come on. Oh. Well, it's it is not normal, but well, it works. If it works, it works in my book. Along my journey, I had seen many pieces of floating rock, but here, they were much bigger. Some were big enough to fit whole villages. How was this possible? Maybe it had to do with the crystals that seemed to be everywhere. Hmm, might be. Look, they even have waterfalls. Well, that one's not floating. But jeez. Can I grab one of these crystals, please? Oh, they got it. Ow. I don't like dark places. I'm gonna go up. Oh shit. I fell. I hit my head. <laughs> How come there's no. Fuck. <gasps> oh, that was so close. Okay. I don't see anything over there, really. Wait, what? <laughs> Ugh. No, no. <laughs> and pow, there you go. I can go back to my controller. Because I love my controller. Such game is so much fun to play using controllers. 
If the legends were true, the stray civilization was younger than the village. Yet, they were making great progress. They invented crystal-powered machines, produced their own fabrics, and built houses out of bricks and stone. It was like a civilization was forming before my eyes. I still want to try this. We are not getting any closer to that. I'm still wondering so. how am I supposed to get there? Okay, never mind. You know what? I just forget about that for now. I see a symbol earlier on there. There you go. I will just follow you. Casually. Like normal people do. Oh fuck. Oh wow. Oh they're so close. I thought I'm not gonna make it. But apparently I do, thank goodness. Okay, so we can get closer to here. Can we? Oh please, come on. I wanna get that thing. I can see it from here. It's just maybe we are gonna go there later on. How come they didn't use crystals in the village like that? Didn't they have any? They did have a few, but never used them. The villagers thought the crystals were sacred, that they were the source of life and shouldn't be fiddled with. Wait, didn't Fred use them? For his power cores, yes. I guess he was an exception. The strays, on the other hand, they mined crystals and used them for all sorts of machinery and decorations. They praised them too, just in another way. Hmm. But they are clever though. It's really making the most of what you have. I mean the crystal are there for reason. And what's a better reason to than making the most of it, right? Oh shit. Okay, so where am I supposed to go? Now I know, you know, in this game, if you think that there's nowhere else to go, you should look up. Because you'll be surprised, my friend. Because that's where all, everything is. It's like going up, always. Oh. Okay. So that's where we're gonna go. Hey, let's play a game. I bet that you can't get through this part without using the grapple device. I, are you, are you serious? Of course I can't. What are you talking about? It's not like I can fly. <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. You're tripping. Is there anything that this village doesn't have. <laughs> Told you you couldn't do it. Well, I guess one of the things that they don't have is human face. <laughs> I feel so bad. 
shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, frog people. I love frogs. I love eating frogs as well. Hey, that's not a. That shouldn't be an insult. That should be good, cause that means that it's good. What the hell? No. What the? I seriously have no sense of distance. Fuck! And... Oh yes! I landed. I don't even know how, how I did that. This is so confusing. I don't know which way to go, seriously. So many options and... Oh! Oh, that was close. Took all the in in convention. I don't even know if that's even a word. Yeah, my English is really horrible. Please mind the English. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, what's that? The boots! Look! Couldn't you wear those? Upgrade your suit! They look pretty powerful, right? Looks like... Whoa! Is... <laughs> that looks like a bunch of fireworks strapped on this on a freaking boot with this addition the suit felt at least 20 percent cooler i don't see much different though but hey whatever i don't i don't i'm not gonna complain about new suits i mean new gears ah beautiful love the colors sweet now you gotta try them out to use rocket boots what? <laughs> this is awesome! Oh, you're not so awesome if you fell it down like that. It was awesome. I don't know how to describe the feeling of bursting through the air like a bullet so fast that my eyes watered and my belly was full of butterflies, never fully in control, but still feeling like the coolest kid in the universe. <laughs> I guess I just described it, didn't I? Ah. Oh, come on. Oh. Okay, so I got it. Ah. Uh, so many buttons to press. Jeez. And I only using four fingers here. All these buttons that I need to press is just the complexity. <laughs> just amazing. That's how we do it, baby. Nah! I feel so many times that the game even has to give hints to me. I feel so pathetic. I'd love to do stuff like this with crystals, 
Just think of the possibilities. Whole machines are powered by them. I almost can't believe it. There's no people in here. It's so weird. Okay. Next, 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 next. A great icy mountain loomed before me, and I felt a chill run down my spine. Hmm. I still want to get that collectible, man. I'm not happy with this. It's already way down there. I thought you were going to go into the middle of the mountain. Well, it looks like we're not. Oh well, next time I guess. to that side, I guess. So I don't want to go from here, because this one will be a bad one. So we just go from there. We hadn't seen any people around yet, but ahead of us lay what looked like a proper town. The strays from Maddie's stories. I could imagine how she must have longed to meet them all her life. And now, here they were. Oh. Which which proper town are you talking about again? Am I missing something here? So I I'm not seeing any town at all. <laughs> anyway. Please. He's <laughs> sort of a. <sighs> cool! Those must be the strays! I want to greet these people myself. Let me off. Okay, you're free. You're free. You go. You can go. Why are you not going? <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Maddie from the village, and this is my friend. He's looking for Fred. Amazing! I've never seen anyone from inside the caves before. My name is Arvin, this is Ingo, and that's Tamia. Welcome to Star Haven, lads. So, what's it like in the village? Village is okay, but not like this place. We don't have machines and crystals. We're forbidden from using them. Truly. 
The crystals are our main source of power. The life in the village must be primitive. Or, should I say, simple. Yeah, well, it's not so bad. I've actually made some secret experiments on crystals myself, like this lamp. You made that? Awesome! I couldn't do that even if someone told me how. And with no prior knowledge <laughs> of how to use them, you are a gifted young lady. I believe we shall find many things to talk about. Actually, I don't know if I can stay that long. Me and my friend are looking for Fred. Have you seen him? Sure. The old man passed through here a few days ago. We taught him how to harness crystal energy. He was headed down to the core of the mountains. You'd have to pass through the ice cave to get there, though. So I ain't following. There is a zeppelin headed for the ice cave. It docks a short distance from here. Just follow the path towards the mountain, and you won't miss it. Yeah, good luck. Thanks. Bye, you guys. Why is she running like that? Mm -hmm. Still with the same language. Hey. That okay? I'm hey! telling you, that mountain doesn't look promising, man. It's over here. <laughs> it's it just spells hey! disaster. Okay, hold on. Jeez. Hey! Okay. Wait, what? What are you... Are you seriously fishing? Are you fishing for... Or are you like... Should I call it... Birding? <laughs> what is that? Okay, whoa. How old was Maddie when you met her? I don't know. But it felt like she was about my age. Did you like her? Yes. She was friendly. And funny. No, did you like her? Was she cute? Well, she was cute. But I was too young to think about that. Did you have a romantic time all by yourselves? No. I... She wasn't even human. Well, that doesn't rule racist, it out. Man. I have a friend that says she wants to marry a vampire. <sighs> well, that's, um, good for her. Let's get back to the story. Inside that building. <coughs> okay. Oh. Those people were so nice. They didn't think we were strange at all, though we came all the way from the village. They were helpful, and they were impressed by something I had done. <sighs> I wish more people in the village were like that. Oh, there you go. Oh. So it was way down low. Way, way down here. So you'll have to sort of venture your way and s slowly drop into the small opening. Not opening, it's just a small ledge. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if we can if we can end it here yet. I'll just get to the next story point and we will end it there before we go to the ice cavern. Great. Great. <laughs> Whoa. So what's the difference between this and that? That's a little bit weird. There's gonna be two paths that you can take. I 
like to take the much more fun path. Yeah, but there's nothing here. There's no... Seriously, I have no idea what this is at this stage. Okay, which way am I supposed to go? This way? with the slope man jeez <laughs> okay okay this is kind of crazy so you can go through that side oh Oh. Fuck. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. Where the fuck am I supposed to go? Is it that side or this side? Oh my goodness. Now that I'm here, I don't know which way to go. Okay then. This thing can be pretty dangerous. Is it like a schoolgirl or something? Okay, I'll leave you to it. Okay. And to go there. There. Maddie was silent for a while. It seemed like she was thinking hard on something. Or maybe sleeping. You never know. She's a kid. There's a boat. Okay, interesting enough. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. We can do this. We can do this. You can do this guys, you can do this. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Glow, glow, glow. There you go, glow, glow, glow. Oh, and quickly, uh. grab a hold of that crate. Good day. Here's a bow to Ice King. Though I'd take the other one if I were you. That one goes back to the outpost. Um, I, um, wait a minute. I was thinking. I, I don't know if I should go with you. I mean, I want to, but I also want to, well, stay here. Maybe it's strange, 
but I just feel like these people liked me and accepted me for who I am. Kind of like you. I want to be with you too and help you find Fred. I don't know what I want the most. I told Madeline that I would accept whatever choice she made. I just never thought about it until now that maybe, maybe it wasn't Fred I was looking for when I came with you. Maybe I was just looking for a way out, somewhere to be free. Wow, that's deep. And I know that if anyone can find Fred, it's you. If you meet him, when you meet him, tell him to come see me, okay? I promised. Thank you. I'm glad I met you. And it won't be the same without you around. Goodbye, friend. I said goodbye to Maddie, and I had a feeling that this was the last time I'd see her. But even in this sad moment, I was happy for her. She had found a place where she belonged. Well, that was a sad departure. There was a dampness in the air that reminded me of the hot summer nights back home. But as the Bye, sun Maddie. was setting, I could feel the chill creeping up on me. And the path we were traveling on seemed to lead us into a second ice age. Winter was coming. Winter is coming. Well, guys, I guess that is the end of part four now. It's been great. It's 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 a lot of fun. It's so much open, and there's a lot of possibilities. Um, there's different paths that you can go through. I try to go through all of them, but I just can't. And I only find one collectible. And I hope you guys, if you guys playing this, I hope you guys can find a whole lot more than me. I'm really hopeless with that thing. But yes. Yeah, so with that said, um, I will end this uh, part four here and we'll continue on part five later on as we go through this ice ice cave in search of our missing uncle and i guess that is all for now and as usual thank you for stopping by